Today I'm going to show you how to decrease using a circular needle. You basically do it the same way that you would do it on a straight needle, but you only do it one way. In other words, on a straight needle, in the beginning, you always start with knitting two together. And at the end, you do the pass one slip stitch over. It's important to do it only one way because you want the stitches to be pulled either to the right or to the left. So I'm going to do it with the pass the slip stitch over in which you just knit one stitch, slip one stitch, knit another stitch, put your needle in the front and pull that middle stitch over. This is going to pull all the stitches this way. So you want to continue doing it this way on your whole project when you're knitting in the round. I'm going to show you again. You're going to knit one stitch, slip one stitch, knit another stitch, put your needle in the front, and pass the slip stitch over. You're going to do that every time you make a decrease depending on what your pattern says. If it says decrease every five stitches, you'll do five stitches and then decrease in that way. If it says decrease every six stitches, you'll do six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now you're ready for your decrease knit one, slip one, knit one, needle in front, pull the stitch over. So that is one way to do the decrease. And remember the other way is so simple I didn't even have to show you. It's just to knit two stitches together. So don't be afraid. Just keep knitting, slipping, knitting, Yarn in front and pass the slip stitch over and that's how you decrease.